So speed is distance divided by time, and it's a bit confusing because we've got speed here, we've got distance with the letter S, and then time is measured in seconds. Okay, so we've got now got some different uh, distances and times that we can work out the speeds of different objects. So 50, 150, and this one here is actually really slow. So I've expressed it as 2.0 times 10 to the minus three meters. You could have also written it as 0 0.0020. Okay, so we can either use standard form or just write it like this. Now the next one is actually a bit about conversion. So in one hour, there are 60 minutes with 60 seconds. So that's 3,600 seconds. I think it's useful to do this because we often have to convert from one unit to another. Now, one meter per second, how fast is that in miles per hour? So we're often used to using miles per hour all the time, especially when we're talking about things like cars. And it says here that one mile is 1,600 meters. Okay, so this is how I'm going to do it. We've got one meter per second. Well, if we think about over an hour, what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply this by the number of seconds in an hour to say that in an hour, we're going 3,600 meters in one hour. And now we know the distance in meters, we can convert to miles. So what I'm going to do is divide by 1,600 because there are 1,600 meters in a mile. And that means the answer is 2.25, which to two significant figures, because uh, we're just saying two significant figures down here, that's about 2.3 miles per hour. So if you're moving along at one meter per second, in one hour, you would go 2.3 miles. That one's quite tricky, it kind of messes with your head. Okay, we've rearranged the equation for the next part, and then we've just used this, put the numbers in to get these answers, which I've displayed like that in the table. And then the next question is to do with these kind of speed cameras. Um, now for the first one, again, it's kind of, it's more of like a maths problem than it is actually something just for the physics classroom. Um, so it says it takes 15 minutes to cover 18 miles. Now what I've actually done is actually I've left my units in miles per hour. So it goes 18 miles in a quarter of an hour, which means in one hour it would go 72 miles. So it's going at 72 miles per hour, which is greater than the 70 mile per hour speed limit. So yes, it is breaking the speed limit. Now the next one, uh, a different car takes two minutes to travel, sorry, two minutes 45 to travel 4.2 kilometers in a 60 mile per hour zone. So we've got time in minutes and seconds and we've got distances in kilometers and miles per hour. Now, the key thing here though, is, is the car breaking the speed limit? Well, I've actually converted the 60 miles an hour into 27 meters per second. So what I want to do is I want to find out the speed of that car in meters per second. So this is the distance it travels, 4,200 meters. The time it takes, two minutes 45 is 165 seconds. And that means it's traveling at 25.45 meters per second, which is slower than the speed limit of 27 meters per second. So no, it isn't. And the next one, we've got, again, just a conversion. Um, a top speed is 90 kilometers per hour. So 90 kilometers per hour, what I've done is I've multiplied by a thousand to see how far it's going in meters. So it goes 90,000 meters in an hour. And then I've divided by 3,600 to find out how far it goes every second, which is 25 meters per second. So the driver enters a 60 mile per hour zone that's 4.6 miles long. So how long would it take to travel? Well, one mile is 1,600 meters. We saw that on the first page. And that means the distance it travels in this 60 mile per hour zone is 4.6 miles. Now 4.6 times by 1600 is 7,360 meters. So that's the distance here. So I'm just gonna label that as S, okay? But we know the speed it's traveling at, V, is 25 meters per second because that's the maximum speed. And therefore the time is a distance divided by the speed, which equals 294.4 seconds and I've just given my answer as four minutes, 54 seconds. So just under five minutes to do that. And the next bit, um, is the driver correct or not? Um, so he could go at maximum speed for a quarter of an hour. Could he go, could he cover a thousand lengths of the lorry? Okay, so um, the maximum speed is, so that's why I put Vmax is 25 meters per second. The time in quarter of an hour, is gonna be equal to 15 minutes times 60 seconds, so 900 seconds. And that means the distance traveled is 25 times 900, which is 22,500. And if we just check this distance 
with the lorry length is actually equal to a thousand. So yes, the driver is correct. They would go a thousand lorry lengths in that time. So this one here, um, kind of more challenging questions, but a lot of it kind of draws on the skills that you already know from your GCSE maths work. So there we go, some questions about speed.